You have chosen to step on the left-hand path because you have a drive to further your power, to become more than who you are. You are not one who is simply searching for spiritual enlightenment. It's much more than that. If it were only about reaching calm in your soul, you'd join a church or a Wiccan coven or sit around with some hippies in the lotus position chanting gibberish. No, it's more. You have a drive, a will, that compels you to do that which most fear. This will pushes you to gaze down into the abyss and not divert your eyes. You are not one who shrinks from the horrors of reality, nor do you struggle blindly, but live deliberately with a fervor for existence. Friedrich Nietzsche called this sense of joy and vitality accompanying the imposition of values on an otherwise meaningless world, tragic optimism. It belies the reality that your world is not will to existence, but will to power. The will to power is a natural force, one that propels all life. It is not the need to conquer one's neighbors in a bloody raid, but to conquer one's fears, phobias, or shortcomings. It is about the existence of joy felt when one overcomes. And the left-hand path is the individual's path to self-overcoming. It is a truly life-affirming philosophy that brings forth a healthier you through individual development based upon personal needs and efforts. On a deeper level, the will to power explains the fundamentally changing aspects of reality. Everything is in flux. Matter is always moving and changing as are ideas, knowledge, and even truth. The will to power is the fundamental engine of this change. And on the left-hand path, one does not fear change, for it is change the individual seeks. Change in oneself. <laughs>